Welcome back to another episode of In The City, where we're looking ahead to facing Millwall in our penultimate home game of the season. And you can take a look at what's in store for us on Saturday in our Know Your Opponent feature. Also coming up on the show, we followed Fabio to the hairdressers, as you do. So stay tuned and play along with our Guess Who's Do game. But first, let's hear from Lou Peltier. We've been going strong away from home. I had a nice solid base about us and uh, we've been getting results. So it was um, unfortunate to, to lose against Ipswich, but um, we can build on plenty of positives. With history at his previous clubs as captain, are those leadership qualities what the manager now expects from him here at Cardiff City? I think uh, he expects it from everyone really. Quite an experienced player, so I think um, he knows that I bring that automatically, but there's a lot of experienced players in this team and um, there's, there's good leadership qualities in a lot of players. And finally, he went on to discuss Saturday's game. Millwall's going to be a tough game. They're always an um, horrible team to play against, but um, it's our own game and we need a, a home win, as we haven't had one for a while. But we're looking to uh, build on that and get a good performance and hopefully take the three points. And now it's that time of the show where we take a look at what else has been going on in and around the club this week. Our Cardiff City women's team are in action on Sunday afternoon as they face Swansea City ladies in the FAW Women's Cup final in a 5.30 kickoff at Pennebon Football Club. Ben Turner made his return for the Bluebirds on Monday evening at the Western Home Stadium as the development side took on Colchester United. It was a superb return for Ben as he secured three points for the Bluebirds with a 1-0 victory. They're next in action on Friday afternoon as they take on Sheffield Wednesday at the Vale Hotel, 4pm kickoff. And the Academy played in their final league game of the season on Saturday morning, losing out to Barnsley, meaning they finished sixth in the PDL2 South. However, that's not the end of the season for them as they take on Swansea City in the final of the FAW Youth Cup on Thursday, the 30th of April at the Cardiff City Stadium, 7pm kickoff. Capital will be on the pitch at half-time on Saturday with contenders James Jackson, James Lambert and Thomas Fish in the last Capital Kick Challenge of the season. Be sure to keep an eye out for them at the break. And remember you can get a family ticket for the game for two adults and two children in our family area for just £40. Visit www.cardiffcityfc.co.uk for more information. And as you can see there was a lot of travelling for fans and supporters this week. So Peter's Pie is kindly surprised and supplied the fans travelling to Ipswich on Tuesday with a quick snack for the long journey they had ahead of them. It's a lovely little thing that we do for the fans. Um, Peter's the sponsor one of the, the stands, the family stand, so we do quite a lot down here. So they've got a nice sausage roll for their trip up because it's going to be quite a long trip. So. A big thank you to Peter's Pies for supplying some delicious snacks for that long journey to Ipswich on Tuesday evening. We're back at home, of course, on Saturday against Millwall. If you fancy coming along to show your support, click here for more ticket information. Millwall arrive in Cardiff off the back of two wins in the last 10 days, including a crucial 2-0 victory over fellow strugglers Wigan last Tuesday night. Those three points leave them still occupying the final relegation spot though, and five now from safety. Goals and wins have been an issue all season for the Lions. They've netted just 37 times, a record equal by Wigan and topped only by Blackpool, the three teams in most immediate danger of being relegated. Individually, it's Lee Gregory, a non-league player with Halifax Town prior to this season, who leads the club's scoring chart with six goals, whilst former Everton winger Maggie Gay has chipped in with five himself, including one in each of the two recent wins over Charlton and Wigan. As four wins, they've amassed just nine in the league all season, just four times since the turn of the year, and it's easy to forget that they began the season with three wins from their opening five matches and briefly topped the championship table under former manager Ian Holloway. In terms of contribution, only Sean Williams and David Ford have been present for every league win. And speaking of one-time Bluebird Ford, he's one of just five players, four goalkeepers plus Danny Bath of Wolves, to have played every minute of their team's championship games this season. He is, however, the only player on a championship roster to have played every minute of every match, having played all four of the Lions Cup matches also. 
This week we visited the Ken Picton Salon in Cardiff Bay who were match sponsors of our home game against Bolton. This year the salon is celebrating its 25th anniversary and Fabio was keen to stop by and check it out. And that lent itself well to this week's game. Guess who's due? Nice and easy. <laughs> no? No. Who's that? Marshy. Who's this dashing guy? Marshy, 17 years old. <laughs> you 17 there? Yeah. Wow. Semi-alcohol. I was going to say, you haven't changed <laughs> much. Which position? Okay. Defence. Defence. He's wearing a city top if that helps you. Probably Barla. Before? No. Just uh, put on a bit of beef since then, but young you think. Um, you see him every day in training. Youngie? Uh, oh, ah, <laughs> Youngie, yeah, yeah, yeah. Now you yeah, see yeah, it. Yeah, yes, Youngie. Yeah. Here you go. Nice, easy one again. Oh, <laughs> I can't miss this one as well. Sanya. Sanya? Sanya. Sagna. That looks like an Iceland kit. You see him every day in training as well. But he still plays with you. What? Yeah. Trolls. Yeah. That this one, it's my teammate, that's why I know it's Aaron. That can't be. That's gonna. Yeah. <laughs> He's never on a barn that good. Is it here? Yeah. It's good, then I It is, yeah. yeah. That's gonna sin. <laughs> Neymar. Uh, Neymar. Oh, look at his hair. That's Neymar. It's horrible, isn't it? That's horrible haircut. That's not okay. If you get this one wrong, you're no true Brazilian. How can you get it wrong? That's the game you won in the final. Ronaldo. Easy. Ronaldo. Ronaldo. It is indeed. You know this hair is from a cartoon in Brazil called Tuma da Monica. He's a... A guy from, uh, it's hard to explain, but it's like uh, a Peppa Pig have here. <laughs> serious, serious. So, but he was a Ronaldo hair like this. takes yeah. his hairstyle from the Brazilian equivalent of Peppa Pig in accordance yeah, yeah, to yeah, Fabio. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No idea at all. Is he here? Uh, Ron, At Ron Atkinson. <laughs> Fifth Ron Atkinson in a row. <laughs> That is in the gaffer. <laughs> <laughs> it is the gaffer. Gaffer? That's the manager. No. No, no, please. That's the Russell sleeve that himself. That's with that's a bit of hair there. Look there. How nice. funny. That's nice. really funny, good. isn't it? Good one. I love that one. <laughs> Last week, in memory of Welsh poet and avid Bluebird supporter Danny Abzi, his friends and family gathered to plant a tree in the Ninian Park Memorial Garden. To play us out is club historian Richard Shepherd with a reading of the game written by Abzi in 1959. Follow the crowds to where the turnstiles click, the terraces fill, Humpa blares the brassy band. Saturday afternoon has come to Ninian Park, and beyond the goalposts in the Canton stand, between black spaces, a hundred matches spark. Waiting, we recall records, legendary scores. Fred Keenor Hardy in a royal blue shirt. The very names, sad as the old songs, open doors before our time where someone else was hurt. Now, like an injured beast, the great crowd roars. Memory of faded games, the discarded years. Talk of Aston Villa, Orient and the Swans. Half time the band played the same military airs as when the Bluebirds once were champions.